Dozens of TVs and more than 100 microwaves paid for with your tax dollars have not been properly accounted for by the Department of Corrections. CBS 17's investigative reporter Richard Essex has the details. On a rainy afternoon, the Harnett Correctional Institution is not a very welcoming place. Armed guards and razor wire fence keep the occupants of the facility in line. But the bottom line of the facility has come under fire by the state auditor's office. According to a report that I obtained, the Department of Public Safety has failed to properly look after your tax dollars. During a three-year period, the Department of Public Safety bought 105 microwaves, 50 TVs for inmates' use. Auditors were unable to find 74 of those microwaves in 16 TVs. Mitch Kokai of the John Locke Foundation says this is a problem. When you have equipment that turns up missing or things that seem to have somehow disappeared and no one, no one knows where they went, that just shows that there's a need for more transparency, more accountability. Someone needs to be keeping track of these things. According to the auditor's report, there is not a tracking system in place for broken TVs and microwaves. In total, more than $10,000 of televisions and microwaves were lost or sent to a local landfill. The Department of Corrections declined our request for an on-camera interview, and they issued this statement. In the past, Harnett Correctional Institution did not track the disposal of items such as televisions and microwaves. All prison facilities have been directed to account for all assets valued below $1,000 by tracking the purchase and disposal of these items. The Department of Public Safety said in their response to the audit that the money spent on the microwaves and TVs came from profits from a telephone contract and a canteen operation. In Raleigh, Richard Essex, CBS 17 News.